hi slim stars you're welcome back to my channel as you can see i am looking like a rich auntie that i am that i am i am that i am <laughs> yes so this is what i'm putting on today this is actually um a uniform for a program for a conference actually we have in my church but i actually filmed the tutorial for this neckline here let me come closer so as you can see it's a lovely pleated neckline design it has pleats that goes from the center here to the sides all the way up to the shoulder as you can see so yes the lovely um it's a lovely um pleated neckline design and i thought to share it because the first time i actually attempted to make this um, neckline design i actually made a huge mistake not like huge per se but i made a mistake and i didn't get it right so when i figured it out i was like no i must share this with my people with my CLM stars i must share this thing okay so i'm here to teach you guys how to create this lovely pleated neckline design and also i'm also going to show you how to create pleats so i also realized that i don't have any tutorial on how to make pleats i have a tutorial on how to create gathers yes i have a tutorial on how to make gathers i have tutorials on how to make flares so 180 degrees 360 degrees and all that but i just realized i don't have any tutorial on how to create pleats okay so that's what i'm going to be doing in this video so if you're a beginner this video is for you you're going to learn how to create pleats these pleats you can actually use them for a skirt like a pleated skirt you can use it on sleeves you can actually use it for um a neckline design as well so with pleats right it's versatile you can use pleats for any part of a garment just the same way you can use flares for any part of the garment and you can use gathers for any part of the garment you can also use pleats for any part of your garments okay so i'm going to teach you guys how to create pleats and i'm also going to teach you how to create this lovely pleated neckline design now if you love the a-line dress i'm putting on i also made it obviously so next week my next video next week saturday i'm going to upload a tutorial on how to create a lovely a-line maxi dress so without further ado let's get right into the video there <laughs> the pleats for this style they are actually three pleats including the one at the edge so for starters i'm going to fold the edge like this and then iron that flat okay now what this will do is it's going to help me when i am sewing so that i don't have any issues i can just sew on you know this finished edge that's folded so i don't have to worry about hemming or anything like that so i'm just going to create just going to fold that in just a little bit you don't want to you don't want a lot of your fabric to go in into that fold so just a little bit and then once you have that done you're fine and now the next thing you want to do is you want to obviously create the next pleat so the next pleat you can decide how wide you can make it this wide this is how wide this one is okay. so this is about one one and a half inches thereabouts but i don't want my pleats to be that wide so you want to just fold your fabric in like this and look at how thin it is this is about um not even up to one inch okay so that's what you should look out for so can you see this is about 0 0.75 inches and that's what we're going for half inch will be too too small unless that's the look you're going for but for this particular style i'm not going for um half an inch i'm going for um, 0 0.75 inches now the length of the fabric you decide to use you want to use something very long as you do this you want to go ahead and pin pin on the ends pin at the center so can you see now what we have is about 0 0.75 inches So go ahead and just pin it and then you want to do the next one so this is the next pleat here again you want to make sure that the width of the next pleat matches the first pleat you have made okay so this is also about 0 0.75 inches and then we go ahead and just iron that so once you've ironed one end it kind of follows through so you just fold it the same way and obviously iron it all the way till you get to the end so that's basically how to create pleats <laughs> it's really not that difficult i just realized i don't have any video showing you pleats at all okay but this is just how to create pleats you want to be sure of the width and make sure that your width matches as you go along so this is the one we're using for our neckline it's much much longer as you can see and as you can see i pinned it okay it's much longer than the other one it's actually 58 inches long seven and a quarter inches um wide 
now i made it this wide so that i don't have any trouble when i am joining it to my neckline this is my front piece this is the neckline the neckline is actually um seven inches wide and the width is um the width is six inches so it's six inches deep so now what we're going to do next we're going to make sure that we fold this in half make sure that we get that midpoint okay and midpoint you want to go ahead and just iron it okay you know you get that iron crease so you want it to be visible because it will guide you when you're actually attaching this um, pleated neckline so what you want to do is you want to fold it okay just fold it try to make you know let me make sure that it has enough space just fold it equally make sure that obviously you would have pleated it equally all the way so you shouldn't have any issues so now this is the edge right here the folded edge you want to take your front piece okay place it and then place this on top of your front piece so you want to go ahead and measure where you want this edge there to stop remember that the, the design is v just like the neckline now if you notice i'm not measuring from the beginning okay i'm leaving about half inch from the top because remember we're still going to join this front piece to our back piece okay along the shoulder so you don't want to start your measurement from the top so i just left about half inch and then i'm measuring this now my harbors point is 11 inches so i want it to stop about at about 10 inches it could go higher i'm fine with that but i don't want it to get to the bust point okay so now what we're going to do is you've already folded this and because we want this place to be aligned to the neckline we're going to go ahead and just move this move this like this okay this is why i said you want it to be long because i want this to align nicely with um you know the neckline so i'm just moving it till i get what i want now can you see that this um tip here is pointing to directly towards the line of that um iron crease and obviously that iron crease signifies that this is the center of the fabric so you want your v to point along that center you don't want it to be tilted towards this side or the other side so once we have that pointed we know that we are good to go and this part as well we have it where we want it to be you can still move it if you want but once we have what we want all we have to do now is simply just follow you know that iron crease because like i said it's going to guide you so this is the beginning of the iron crease now if i lift this up can you see our neckline here you can see our neckline point here so i'm going to literally just try to get that point for the neckline okay and i'm just going to use my ruler and just draw that guys this is like the shortest ruler you've ever seen right <laughs> so my ruler broke and this is what's left for I think it's still useful for stuff like this so this is what it is so you're gonna have to draw that point okay so make sure that when you lift this up this aligns with the neck the v of the neckline and that iron crease like i said this is the iron crease if i continue tracing it up you see that it goes straight to that neckline point there so that's where you want your sewing to be okay now what you're going to do so you're going to take this to your sewing machine you can take one of, out one of your pins from that side you're not really using and then just go ahead and just pin it right at the center there okay so you don't it doesn't move when even when you get to your sewing machine you're sure that it's still where it's supposed to be okay okay now once you have that done all you have to do now guys is just go and sew it now we are sewing it this on top of the front piece okay we're not doing this separately we're sewing it on top of the front piece just go ahead and just do that so just go ahead and just sew this on top from here all the way down here so now that we're done this is what we have okay we're gonna have to just sew along that line that i had marked now if i open this up you're going to see what we have can you see how how neat this is guys see how neat this is obviously we're going to trim out you know all the excess but can you see how neat this is okay it looks very very neat can you see and the pleats align at the center okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to open this back up i'm going to trim out this excess here can you see all of this is, is excess so we're going to trim it out yes, can you see guys so as you can see now we don't have any excess showing out again so now what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and 
going to go ahead and just pin it by the shoulder and then also um you know mark the neckline where we want to sew okay so i'm just going to go ahead and just pin this at the shoulder there so that i know where the shoulder is Okay, I'm going to need to pin that. I'm also going to pin this one as well on the shoulder there. So can you see that we're going to need to pin the, the shoulders. Now we're going to flip this to the reverse side. You can see the neckline, okay? You, you, you can't see the neckline from the front because of the excess, um, the excess, you know, pleated fabric there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just, you know, sew a line we're going to jump ahead and just sew from here like this along the neckline and then on the shoulder so that would give us you know that would secure this black and um, pleated fabric to the neckline okay so once we've sewn that around there we can now trim out the excess and so now that we're going to sew it we're just going to go ahead and just trim out the excess So after trimming it, this is what we have. Now we'll just go ahead and just iron it flat. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye guys.